It's a lovely 20 degrees on this winter's day and it's time for a bit of maintenance. For some time I've been a bit concerned about my rusty crutch right at the end of the swing arm. You can see here that this cops a beating from all the crap that comes off the rear tyre. But it's not too bad considering the bike's seven years old and has done over 100,000 k. Nevertheless, before removing the axle I find it easiest to just put a bit of uh, electrical tape around the back adjusters to keep them in place. This makes it easier to fit the axle when I replace the wheel. You can see I'm using my legs to hold the wheel up now that the axle's out and I've pushed the wheel forward a little bit so I can take the chain off. With the wheel out I've got easy access to my crutch. So. A little bit of cleaning up first, just get rid of the excess dirt and grime and let's just see how bad this really is. Well, to be honest, I'm pretty surprised. It's a lot better than I thought. There's a little bit of pitting but mostly it's just the paint being taken off rather than any sort of uh, serious rust. I don't know what that bracket there is for, but I'm going to use that. You'll see that in a minute. I'm actually going to put a plate over the top of everything once I've repainted it. But first, let's give it a bit of a clean up. And the easiest way to do that is just with the finger sander. This looks a bit drastic, but it really isn't. It's quite gentle. It's only just taking the paint and the rusty bits off, just leaving some nice shiny surface. Okay, that didn't take long. That was easy. Time to just measure up for this plate that I'm going to make. Right, that'll do for my purposes, and I'm going to be putting two holes to retain that plate. Very fortunately, I've got a piece from a previous project that's almost exactly the right size. Only a little bit to trim off. I want a bit of a rounded bend on this 90 degree angle that I'm going to put on. 
So I'm not just going to bend it in the vise, I'm going to beat it on this old vise. So I'll give it a bit of a rounded profile. Hmm, seems I didn't hit record when I gave that thing a beating. Anyway, now I'm just using the vise just to get it in exactly 90 degrees now that I've got a bit of a curved corner on that. Back to the bike, let's give it a test fit. Yep, that's going to work perfectly. I'm going to use a couple of M6 Allen head bolts to secure this. So, a couple of 6mm holes will do the trick. Now it's just a simple matter of holding that plate in place and marking those holes so that I can drill the holes in the crutch itself. This steel plate is thick enough to be able to tap a thread in, so I'm just drilling a 5mm hole to be able to tap an M6 thread. I can't fit a normal tap wrench in my crutch, so I'm having to use this little adjustable spanner that I made in the shed a while back to tap the thread, which is a little bit fiddly, but we'll get there. Both threads are tapped. Now I'm just putting a couple of old M6 bolts in the hole because I'm now going to paint that area and I don't want the paint to go in the holes. And this is what I'm going to use. It doesn't look pretty but fortunately you won't see it. Now that that area is painted and nicely sealed up, I can remove those old M6 bolts and put the plate on. Oh, and did I mention? The plate's aluminium, so I won't be painting that. And I've got some nice stainless steel bolts. As they say in the classics, a quick wipe down with a rag and Bob's your uncle. Job's a good'un. Now all I have to do is put the wheel back on and I've finished my little job.
Now, I would normally re-grease my shaft at this stage, but I find that there's plenty of grease already on it. Now, as you can see, I'm just manoeuvring the wheel and I'm using my legs again to get the wheel in the right place. And because the adjusters are in the right place as well, it's a pretty easy process of getting that axle back in. Because the chain tension adjusters haven't been moved, I'm just forcing the wheel forward to make sure that those adjusters are in place. And when you tighten up that axle nut, it has a tendency to pull the wheel back on the right hand side, so you've just got to be careful that you keep some pressure on the wheel so that it doesn't slide back and put the adjustment out. And the easiest way to tell that is when you've finished it all, the adjusters should be tight still rather than uh, rattle. So once I take that tape off, I can just test that to make sure they're not going to rattle. It's all good. There's another little maintenance job done. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.